tonight on Be Something Wonderful, doing versus taking inspired action. This is big. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. One of you asked me, Tom, I've heard a lot about the difference between doing and inspired action. And I just don't know whether I'm doing the right things or whether I'm, I'm taking inspired action. What's the difference? How do I know? Well, guys, we're going to unpack this tonight and more. So here's the big thing I want to say, guys, is that and I've said this before, that there's nothing to do. There will be action that you take, but there's nothing you have to do, right? Doing is about completing something or, or, or going through some steps or processes with the hopes of getting something in return or manifesting something. And that just keeps you apart from your desire. Taking inspired action is just the next logical step on the path to your desire manifesting through you. Hear this. Let's unpack this some more. There's nothing to do ever, ever. Do nothing, right? Doing implies that you believe you must meet certain requirements and complete certain conditions before you can have that which you want or be who you desire to be. Hear this, guys, this is huge. That's what doing implies. I've got to do this, this, and that, and then I can manifest my desire. Think of that. that keeps you separate. That implies that you're not, for, that doesn't imply fulfillment. That implies that you're separated from it. That, does, that implies that you're not who you, who, who you believe that you can be, right? But you have to do things to get there. And then you're going to start judging those doings as good or bad or right or wrong. And then your thoughts get in the way. Wow, this is big. Doing separates you from your desire and wish fulfilled. I have a feeling here, but it's fulfilled. <laughs> doing traps you in the process. We touched on that yesterday, right? Doing relies on your puny 3D mind and your puny 3D abilities. Hear this, right? Doing disconnects you from the infinite power of that higher intelligence that's always running through you. This is big. Let's unpack this a little bit more. With doing, you get stuck into doing things and being a certain way and hope of getting what you want. You are reacting to false limiting assumptions, beliefs, thoughts, and feelings. Wow! That's what happens when you start doing. Right? Then you get fearful and then you tr start trying harder. And it keeps moving you away from your desire, right? You're reacting to these false assumptions, these false beliefs, these thought, false feelings, right? We talked about this, that, you, that feelings, those thoughts, and those assumptions are not reality. They're not. You're not perceiving what is real, right? You don't trust in your higher divine nature to manifest it through you when you start doing things to get what you want, Right? Taking inspired action, on the other hand, is always the next logical step toward manifesting your wish fulfilled. Hear this. Abraham Hicks talks about this often, the next logical step, right? It is, it's the most natural next thing to do, and you'll be moved to do it. It will be clear. Wow, that's big, right? Your intention and focus is on the end. Here's the difference. And we talked about this yesterday, that when you're doing things, you're no longer in the end. You're no longer in wish fulfilled. You're caught up now in trying to get the process right, trying to do something to force and get what you want, right? By, by taking inspired action, your mind is only one, on one thing and one thing only, on your wish fulfilled. You are in the end. You are in fulfillment. It's the decision to have what you want. Where right? you make a decision to have it and then you take inspired action that moves you to it. Wow, that's big. There's no thoughts of fear and doubt. It's impossible when you're in when you're in this state of consciousness. When you're in when you when you have that kind of structure of consciousness underneath it, right? So let's talk about this a little bit more. 
You don't have to imagine, visualize, or affirm constantly about your specific desires. That was your other question. Do I have to keep imagining it 24-7? Do I have to keep affirming it? That's, that's believing that you're gonna do something all the time to get what you want. You don't have to. What you need to do, what the only thing you need to do is focus on your wish fulfilled or in other wise, in other words, <laughs> rise to that consciousness where you give yourself permission to have whatever you desire. Create the consciousness. Hear this. When you create the consciousness, there's not everything you do is the right thing to do. Every move you make is the right move. But when you don't create the right state of consciousness, when you're coming from a lower state of lack of doing, whatever you do feels like it's the wrong thing. Wow, hear this. Whatever you do feels like you're off your path right? You shift your paradigm, creating a state of consciousness that trusts your higher power to work through you, right? Now you're trusting in that higher power. When you have the right state of consciousness, it doesn't matter what you do wrong. There is no wrong, right? You know that expression, he, can, he or she can do no wrong. Well, that's what that means, right? You will always be on your path. But when you're not in that right state of consciousness, when you're coming from a state of doing, from a state of lack, from a state of disconnection, from your wish fulfilled, then whatever, when anything you do feels wrong, it feels hard, it feels like struggle, right? Hear this. So your focus and intention creates reality. We've talked about this, right? Whatever you decide to choose is your wish fulfilled or desired end. That determines your reality. That's all that ever matters, right? Assume your wish fulfilled and let the higher power shuffle reality to yield to your desired reality. It will reshuffle everything. The whole matrix gets reshuffled as you focus on that wish fulfilled. The universe, when you think you're the center of the universe, you are. You are now the center of your universe and the universe will shuffle everything around you to lead you to your wish fulfilled. There's nothing to do but allow, right? Lower states of consciousness are always about being attached to certain outcomes, avoiding loss and failure, trying to succeed and achieve. That all comes from those lower states, those lackful states. You're trying to for certain outcomes. You get attached to certain outcomes. You try to avoid loss and fear. You try to succeed and achieve. However, and that always keeps you in a state of lack. Nothing feels right, no matter what you do, right? In higher states of consciousness, it's, about, it, it's not about giving up anything. Right? We're not, when you move to a higher state of consciousness, you're not, you're not giving up anything, but it's rather about not hanging on to anything hear this. This is big. So when you move to a high, when you rise to a higher state of consciousness, you're not giving up anything. You are gaining every, gaining everything. Rather, you're not hanging on to anything. Therefore, you get everything. Wow, this is big. It connects you to your wish fulfilled, to all your wishes fulfilled, to whatever you love, to your heart's desire. Big, 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 big. So remember, you cannot feel Right? I know some of you are writing that it just feels like when I get those unwanted outcomes that I feel. You cannot feel. Failure is not proof of anything other than this, other than your lack of attention and focus on your wish fulfilled. That's all. If you have your attention and your wish fulfilled, you can't feel. It's not feeling. It's only the resistance to failure that creates the possibility of failure. Failure is not possible unless you resist it. And then you create failure by resisting it. It's not even a real thing. And neither is resistance. <laughs> None of it's real. Allowing the possibility of failure, hear this, or an unwanted outcome or unwanted outcomes is not about settling for less ever. Rather, it's redefining all outcomes as on your path to wish fulfilled. It's, re it's redefining what failure means. It's redefining what all outcomes mean, that all outcomes are on your wish fulfilled, that failure is no such thing. Hear this, allowing that possibility of, quote, failure opens you up to everything. Now you're unlimited, right? 
It, it's not about settling for less, right? It's about redefining all that comes as all want, as, as all, all on your path to wish fulfilled, right? Imagine what you could do or be if you couldn't feel. It's amazing. It, it opens up everything, right? That is what doing versus taking inspired action really means. This is big. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of Higher Consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, like and share our videos. That's how we get our message out. Hit us up on Facebook at Be Something Wonderful, on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen. Our website at TomKaren.com or BeSomethingWonderful.com or write me anytime at info at BeSomethingWonderful.com. I always love to hear from you. Until next time, with great love, this is Tom. See you soon.